Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today, we're going to discuss a critical question. What steps should you take if a loved one is diagnosed with dementia? Let's delve into this topic through a hypothetical case. Hypothetical case study. William, a 64-year-old doctor, and his wife Joan, a 61-year-old teacher. 1. Observing the symptoms. William has recently noticed that Joan seems to be struggling with understanding words. Her memory appears to be deteriorating, and she gets easily agitated. When Joan's symptoms are diagnosed as early-onset Alzheimer's dementia after comprehensive medical examinations, William finds it hard to believe. Despite her diagnosis, Joan still manages to cook, make phone calls, and handle their bank account efficiently. This leads William to question, could it really be Alzheimer's disease? However, as a doctor, William understands the rigorous standards hospitals follow for diagnosing dementia. Denying the diagnosis could result in missing out on early intervention and support opportunities. So, rule one is don't panic, accept the diagnosis, and don't try to manage everything alone. Seek help from family members, dementia care institutions, and government bodies like the NHS. Consult your doctor about care assistance, and how to avail national and social support. 2. Dealing with guilt. Post Joan's diagnosis, William starts feeling regret and guilt for not spending more time with her, or getting angry over trivial matters. However, he should understand that dementia is not a punishment, or anyone's fault. It's a disease that can affect anyone, and is influenced by a complex interplay of over 100 risk factors, including genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors. So, rule two is let go of guilt and focus on caring for Joan. 3. Managing daily life. Since Joan's diagnosis, William is committed to taking care of, but reality proves to be challenging. Joan repeatedly asks the same questions, refuses to change clothes or bathe, causing William to feel irritated. Forgetting that Joan needs help can lead to arguments. For example, if Joan repeatedly buys and stores the same food, William might temporarily forget her condition, get angry, or scold her. Instead, he should praise her effort to go shopping alone and then remove spoiled items from the fridge to prevent repetition. So, rule three is dementia is a disease that can be managed with help. Research insights. Studies show that caring for a dementia patient alone for a long duration can lead to elder abuse, which includes verbal violence, anger, irritation, and causing anxiety in the patient. Factors such as dementia, dependency, and caregiver stress contribute to the risk of elder abuse. Abuse seems to be particularly prevalent in 24-hour care facilities, perhaps due to the high level of cognitive and neuropsychiatric morbidity among older people living in care homes. Before we conclude today's discussion, let's highlight a book, The Soul of Care, authored by Dr. Kleinman, a distinguished Harvard psychiatrist. This memoir chronicles his journey as a caregiver for his wife, Joan, diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Kleinman's narrative is a testament to the transformative power of caregiving. He doesn't shy away from dementia's harsh realities, but portrays caregiving as a fundamentally moral act. Despite its challenges, he believes caregiving offers a reward, an opportunity for self-growth and a deeper understanding of our significance to ourselves and others. In the soul of care, caregiving is not just an act of kindness and compassion, but also of courage. Caregiving is a long, labor-intensive, sometimes agonizing journey, always filled with profound meaning. In summary, the three critical rules for a family caregiver are 1. Swiftly accept the dementia diagnosis and seek all the help you can. 2. Focus on active care and support rather than feeling guilt. 3. Remember that even if patients seem fine, they still need help. Dementia is a journey. It's about learning to live with the disease and making the most of the moments you have together. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care, and stay safe.